All right, so now I'm going to do the problem where the man is pushing the box. So the man is interacting with the floor. The box is interacting with the floor. The man and the box are interacting with each other. And the box is interacting with the earth. And the man is interacting with the earth. So now I'm going to draw the force diagram for the box. Once again, this is the feeler. So it's going to be in the center of our force diagram. And this is going to be the object that feels all the forces. So what is acting on the box? So first one I always like to do is that the force of gravity is pulling the box down and the force of gravity is acting on the box by the earth at then I see that there's the mass is given for the box so mass of the box is 25 kilograms and now I know that I'm going to have to look for the force of gravity so the force of gravity is equal to mass times the gravitational field strength which is 25 kilograms times 10 newtons per kilogram, which is 250 newtons. So the box is 250 newtons. Next, the box is being pushed up at the same, um, at the same force but it's being pushed up, so it's a normal force on the box by the floor at 250 newtons. Okay, so now we know that the top is 250 and the bottom is 250. Next, we're going to address the side-to-side -side movement. So the man is pushing the box at a constant speed, and he's pushing the box at 100 newtons. So the box is being pushed to the right. So pushed would be a normal force on the box by the man at 100 newtons. And because we are covering balanced forces, we know that there must be something acting and that also it's a constant